In this video, we are going to compare disconnector, switch disconnector or load brake switch and circuit breaker with more than 10 different parameters. This is going to be an interesting video. So let us get started. Now again, this was one of the requested videos. There were a lot of comments uh, saying compare about these three different devices and hence on demand, I'm publishing this video. Now first, let us understand the definition of uh, the disconnector, switch disconnector and circuit breaker. Now the definition that I'll be showing you is based on the IEC standard, different IEC standards. So the reference that we are taking here is IEC 62271-100, 102 and 103, right? So let's start with that. But first we need to understand what do we mean by switch, what IEC defines as a switch. So here is the definition given by the IEC. Switch is a mechanical switching device capable of making, carrying and breaking currents under normal circuit conditions, which may include specified op operating overload condition and also carrying for a specified time currents under specified abnormal circuit conditions, such as those of a short circuit. Now the definition is very, very simple. So a device that is capable of making, that means closing, carrying and breaking normal currents. Normal currents mean, let's say the rated current of your system is 200 ampere. So that is the normal current and a device that is capable of closing, uh, opening and carrying that current uh, is what the IEC call it as a switch. Plus the switch are also having the capability to carry the abnormal currents for a specified time. So the word is used only carrying. It is not mentioned as making or breaking. That means they are not capable of making or breaking the uh, short circuit currents, right? Clear understood the definition of switch because then this is the basis of the other definition that we are going to learn. Clear? Now let's start by understanding the definition of a disconnector. Now this is given by IEC. So disconnector is a mechanical switching device which provides in the open position an isolating distance in accordance with the specified requirements. Now disconnector and switch, they are not identical. You will see in the definition of disconnector, nowhere it is mentioned that they are capable of ca making or breaking the currents. It is not mentioned. So that means the disconnector is a completely a offload device. What do we mean by that? That means they are not having capabilities to break normal system current as well as the abnormal uh, system currents like short circuit. But of course they are capable of carrying the normal uh, currents continuously and also short circuit currents for a specified time duration. But what you have to remember is that they are not having any capabilities to open or break any sort of currents. Let it be normal or the abnormal. Clear? Understood the definition of disconnector? Now let us have the definition of load brake switch or switch disconnector. Load brake switch is the common name used. Switch disconnector is the name used by the IEC standard. Right? The definition is switch which in the open position satisfies the isolating requirements specified for a disconnector. So first of all, it is a type of switch, which means they are capable of making and breaking the normal currents, right? Clear? That part is clear. The second part, it says it also satisfies the isolating requirements specified for a disconnector. So when disconnector opens, it provides a larger uh, isolating distance between the two contacts than a switch. So hence, this satisfies the isolating requirement. Clear? So if you have to say it in a very simple language, switch disconnector is basically the combination of a switch plus a disconnector. Clear? So switch plus disconnector is what we call as a switch disconnector or a load brake switch. Now what is the difference between disconnector and switch disconnector? Disconnector do not have any capabilities to make or break any currents. On the other hand, the switch disconnector, they are capable of making and breaking normal system current. Clear? Again, they are capable of carrying abnormal currents for a certain period of time, like one second or three seconds. Clear? That is switch disconnector. Moving on, let us see the definition of circuit breaker. So IEC says circuit breaker is a mechanical switching device capable of making, carrying and breaking currents under normal circuit conditions and also making, carrying for a specified time and breaking currents under the specified abnormal circuit conditions such as those of short circuit. So the definition is very, very clear. One, they are capable of making normal 
current and also breaking normal currents plus the additional capabilities that circuit breaker have is to make and break the short circuit currents the huge fault currents they are capable of handling that uh, opening that as well this capability is not there with the switch disconnector or load break switch and with the disconnector clear understood the definition of a disconnector load break switch and circuit breaker because if you understood this definition most of the uh, differences between these three you will get very very clearly clear so those are the definitions given by the iec standard now moving on to the next parameter which is the purpose of the equipment starting with disconnector so disconnector mainly used for two purposes one isolation of a particular part and second rerouting of the power now let us understand what do we mean by this so first isolation of a particular part now let's say i have a circuit breaker here and there are two disconnectors connected uh, after the circuit breaker the disconnector one and disconnector two now i would like to carry out maintenance on this circuit breaker so in order to be 100 percent sure that this circuit breaker is completely isolated from the system what i will do i'll open these two disconnectors of course after opening the circuit breaker now I can carry out the maintenance of, on, on this circuit breaker without any worry because I am 100% sure that this particular part is completely isolated from the whole system because these two disconnectors are in open position, right? So that is one of the major purpose of the disconnector and this is what they provide the isolating distance basically what is defined in the IEC, clear? So that is the first purpose. The second purpose rerouting of power let us understand what do we mean by that so let's say i have two bus bars one and two now currently uh, the power is flowing from bus bar one for which the disconnector one is closed right now let's say due to some reason the bus bar one has failed now what i will do i will have to reroute the power uh, from bus bar two so i will open the disconnector one and I'll close the disconnector too and the power will flow like this. Of course, this will happen after opening the uh, respective circuit breakers. Clear? So this is what we have done is we have rerouted the power. Initially, the path was from disconnector 1. Now it is from disconnector 2. Right? This is nothing but rerouting of the power. And disconnector is plays a very important part uh, in substation in doing that. Right? That is the purpose of disconnector. Now comparing it with the load break switch or switch disconnector, the difference is that of course the switch disconnector are capable of isolating a particular part and also rerouting of power but, but additionally they are also capable of switching off normal currents which is not there in case of disconnector. Clear? The third equipment we have is circuit breaker. Now the purpose of circuit breaker is to protect the system or the circuit from abnormal uh, short circuit currents which this capability is not there with the switch disconnector and the disconnector so those are the clear purposes of these three equipment clear now moving on to the next rating that is next parameter that is voltage rating now disconnector if you see they are available all across the switch gear so they are available up to and including 800 kV and also uh, in the countries where ultra high voltage is also used which is let's say 1100 kilo volts there also the disconnectors are available whereas when we talk about the load break switch it is only available up to and including 52 kV so that is the limitation you will not find any load break switch or switch disconnector which is having 245 kV rating or 400 kV rating that option is limited to 52 kV only clear and circuit breaker just like disconnector they are also available up to and including 800 kV and where the ultra high voltage is used there also the circuit breaker option is available clear so that is voltage rating and by the way before moving on ahead if you are finding this video interesting and helpful then do comment helpful in the comment section below and also do like the video and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of interesting videos that are planned and already available on the channel which might be uh, of uh, help to you. So the next parameter that we have is capability to earth the trap charges. Now what do we mean by that? Let us understand. Now let's say let's consider this is my transmission line and I have opened the circuit breakers at both the end right. So even after I have opened the circuit breaker at both the end 
there will be some trap charges here uh, in this line right now in case let's say somebody is working on this circuit breaker here and let's say something goes wrong maybe these trap charges found a, a way to the ground via this person so that situation can be a very severe situation the person may face a very severe shock uh, or the situation might turn worse right and it must be avoided so there are some equipments who are capable of earthing these trap charges right so let us see what are uh, the different devices that are having this capability so first of all the disconnector disconnector comes with the dedicated earthing switches so it can have uh, a disconnector can have two earthing switches or one earthing switches and there are also three position disconnectors which uh, one position is dedicated for earthing so what it will do is when you earth the earth uh, contact all the trap charges will flow through that and it will be grounded so that facility is provided along with the disconnector and similarly for load brake switch the capability is also there so load brake switch are also having earthing switches which are capable of earthing the trap charges but the circuit breaker they do not have any dedicated earthing switch so they lag in this particular parameter they do not have capabilities to earth the trap charges clear now moving on to the next parameter which is generation of switching over voltages now what is switching over voltages now after a certain voltage level when you switch any equipment it will produce the switching over voltages now if you want me to make a video explaining what is this switching over voltages then comment switching over voltages if i get enough comments then definitely i'll be making a video on that right so that is switching over voltage now a disconnector is completely a offload device so doesn't matter at what voltage level you are opening or closing the disconnector they won't be producing any switching over voltages so of course there is a big no uh, for disconnector for this parameter they will not be producing any switching over voltages similarly the switch disconnector or load brake switch uh, they make the switching of normal currents but uh, for the voltage levels up to 52 kV the impact is very very negligible the switching over voltages are very very negligible so we'll consider it as no so switch disconnector will also not produce any switching over voltages right but when we talk about circuit breaker they do produce the switching over voltages especially when we go above 245 kV voltage level below that again uh, the impact is not very high so it is not considered but when we go above 245 kV level then definitely this comes into picture right so that is the uh, uh, switching over voltages moving on uh, let us see the different IEC standards that we use for disconnector the IEC standard is IEC 6227-102 for load brake switch or switch disconnector it is 103 and for circuit breaker it is 100 the next are the symbols here so this is the symbol for disconnector switch disconnector and circuit breaker now how you can remember this so you have to see for disconnector you will find a horizontal line like this for switch disconnector along with the horizontal line there is a small circle here and for circuit breaker there is a cross mark so with the help of this thing you can remember the symbols of this uh, different equipments moving on the normal current breaking so disconnector they are not capable switch disconnector and circuit breaker can do the normal current breaking st short time current withstand capability yes all of these equipment are having that capability but the breaking capacity of the short time current is only with the circuit breaker it is not there with the disconnector and switch disconnector clear understood got the comparison overall comprehensive comparison between disconnector load brake switch and circuit breaker if the video helped you then definitely comment helpful in the comment section in that way i'll understand this type of content is helping you be ready for another interesting video in the next week so definitely do subscribe for that so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning